Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about the two ATV off-road games for the PSP. ATV Fury Blazing Trails is a port of ATV Off-Road Fury 3 on the PS2 and I have to admit that the port is splendid. I'm impressed by how well the physics got translated. The physics are one of the best I've seen on the PSP. The ragdoll physics look incredible and other effects are good looking too. Gameplay wise, the game is the same beast as the PS2 version. As game modes, you get normal races, time trials, show off events and you can also free ride in any of the huge amount of racetracks. You get different bikes and you can even customize your bike. And you can also customize your character. Also the graphics are stunning for a PSP game. But I have to warn you with something in this game. It's tough, especially on harder difficulties. You will have to memorize the layout of a track to succeed in a race and it can get frustrating. But if you're a super casual player, don't worry. You can input the unlock everything cheat, cheat and just cruise in the game's free roam. Do tricks, relax. The game's replayability is astounding. I mean, it has so much good quality content that even if you were to not do the races and time trials in the game and just cruise around, you could easily have hours of fun with the game. ATV Fury Pro takes an already great game and turns it into a masterpiece. It has the same incredible physics system, the same good graphics, actually some say that the graphics are even better than the first game, and adds more onto it. The game's content exceeds the title this time. You don't have only ATVs in the game, you get bikes, buggies, trucks and even snowmobiles. The tracks have more little details and it's the little details that make a game impressive and make a game jump from a great game to a masterpiece. And this is the case here too. The tracks have little details that make the tracks better. And in case you consider the huge amount of 64 tracks in the game insufficient, the game also has a track editor mode. The game also has a photo mode. It's rare to see a photo mode on a PSP game. And this makes the game even more impressive. Another cool feature is that it has the extensive cross-platform support with the PS2 version, ATV Off-Road Fury 4. By hooking the PSP up to the PS2, players can swap out tracks, vehicles and more between the two systems. At least back in the day you could when the servers were still up. And the crossover doesn't stop there. PSP and PS2 offroaders also share an online community or shared back in the day with message boards and worldwide rankings. Although you couldn't play with PS2 players if you had the PSP version, but it was still cool that you had shared leaderboards. And the multiplayer back in the day when it had one was incredible according to critics. I didn't get to play the multiplayer back then, so I'm seeing from what I've read in reviews. So they say that the multiplayer was incredible because it didn't lag. Also the customization options, both for vehicles and for your rider, are deeper and plentier. Also the controls have been remapped. The majority of the reviews I've read say that the controls are better in Fury Pro and that the first game had crap controls. But to be honest, aside of the different trick button, to me the controls seem the same. In the first game you had to press the left shoulder button to do tricks, here you press the triangle button. For me, the controls are the same. Overall, the game combines great gameplay with a huge amount of content and stuff to do and transforms the formula from the first game into a masterpiece. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.